Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to highlight some of the newest features inside Plan Plus Online. These features are being released into your account if you're an existing customer or will be available on or about January 1st, 2013. So one of the first things that you're going to notice is, is that there's some minor changes to the interface. There's a refreshed look and feel. You'll see that the appointments have some new coloring, so there's some new colors available and the appointment categories uh, now completely fill the actual appointment. There's some changes to the task list as well. You'll notice that the pencil that you used to click on to edit the task is now gone and you can actually do some inline editing. So if you want to make an edit to a task name, you can actually edit those right in line. You can click to save or you can double click to open the edit window for the task. The task window has changed slightly, but everything is just about in the same position. The buttons at the bottom are now a little bit more visible. The drag and drop works pretty much the same as before. To drag an appointment, you'll want to be off of the appointment name. If you click on the appointment name, you'll be in the edit mode. If you want to drag, you'll need to be just off of the appointment name, so in the white space to the right of the appointment. Just like you could before, you can drag those into the calendar, or you can reorder them within the task list itself. And of course you can change the priority by clicking on the priority column here. There's some updated icons, so if you want to use the quick prioritize wizard, there's this icon right here that will take you into the quick prioritize area. And from here you can reorder your tasks, you can drag them onto a future date. You notice some updated icons, and some of the biggest differences are inside of the summary view of the contact organization and opportunity pages. So for instance, on the contacts page, the view by selector is moved from the right over to the left. It's now highlighted in blue, so it's very visible as to which view you're looking at. This would be the view that you'd be looking at. And the number of results has moved from the bottom of the page, which if you have a number of records, this can be it's easier to view the number of results at the top of the page rather than scrolling down. And these are your filters. The filters are in the same location, basically. You can click on the Add Edit Filters now instead of the pencil. The contact detail page is pretty much the same as it has been. You'll notice that the sub-tabs are now displayed vertically down the page instead of in tabs across the page. To edit your sub-tabs, you click on this arrow menu here and click Configure. And if you wanted to show more of your sub-tabs, there are some minor changes to the project area as well. You'll now notice that we've separated the open and finished projects so that for those of you with, with a large number of projects, the page will actually load much faster so you can view your open or finished projects separately. And also for those of you using the mobile app, you'll notice that we've added the leads and daily notes to the mobile app so you can now access those from the mobile app. There's also a new view on the calendar so if you've set up any group views where you're viewing multiple users, this is a view where I've got Bill and James showing, you can set those up in the setup area here. So if you look at the one day view, there's now a list view where you can view all of the users calendars in a column format so you can see who's available this is great for scheduling appointments for other users as well. We've got a new menu style so if you happen to be using an iPad you might find that the drop down menus on that on the existing menu may not work as well for you so if you're using an iPad you can switch to this new menu go to the account setup general UI and there's a new menu variation this new menu will work a little bit better for using an iPad because you can get to the submenu options a little bit easier by clicking and then clicking on the uh, submenu option. Okay, well, we hope you enjoy this new build. And uh, if you have any questions or you have any feedback for the engineering or support team, feel free to use the help and training link up here in the top corner. And go ahead and click on submit a ticket. And you can uh, submit your comments or ask a question about these new features or, or any other questions that you have right here. All right, we hope you enjoy and have a great day.